Today is the start of Black History Month. One shining example of strong black roots here in the mid-state is Nearest Green Distillery. It is the largest black-owned spirits company in the world. And Ben Hill is joining us live from the distillery in Shelbyville this morning. And Ben, this is really a, a truly remarkable story of how this all got started. So we can't wait for you to share more about it with us. It is. We know, Amy, there's something special about Tennessee whiskey, but there's something really special about Uncle Nearest, the, the Nearest Green Distillery here in Shelbyville, Tennessee, which has really been a boon for this great town here in Tennessee. And I'm joined by Jameson Gray, the bottling manager here at Nearest Green Distillery. Thank you for the time, because this is such an amazing history. Mm -hmm. Tennessee whiskey is special, but this is really special. And a lot of that is due to Nearest's history in exactly. whiskey and, yes. and how he got his start. So share with some of our viewers, Jameson, who maybe don't know how this whole thing started for him. So Near Screen was the first African American master distiller on record. Uh, some people say he was the godfather of Tennessee whiskey. Um, he perfected the Lincoln County process and what that is, it defers what uh, Tennessee whiskey from Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. So um, everything that we have today, the juice that we're drinking today is a lot of that is because of him. So we wanted to honor him and this is the first time that a distillery is honored uh, after an African-American man, so it's great. It's crazy to think at the turn of the century, you know, late 1800s, 1900, what he would think if he got to see this today, because truly, I mean, it, it can bring a tear to your eye being here in mm -hmm. this building. I mean, this was what, an old horse barn that we're in yes. here in Shelbyville right now? Yes, yes, yes. I remember walking in here when we first opened up in 2019, um, uh, I remember walking through here. We'd have to bring tours through here, wear hard hats. There wasn't even a floor. There was dirt <laughs> floor. So to see we have a floor to stand on now, it's amazing. It, it's like everything, the, the vision that Fawn Weaver, our CEO, had, everything came to fruition. So it's amazing. And you're born and raised in Shelbyville. I can't imagine what this means to you and so mm -hmm. many others who, who have uh, lived here their whole lives. We've introduced amazing expressions now under mm -hmm. the Uncle Nearest brand. Yes. We've got a few of them here in front of us and it's, uh -huh. it's taken everything in me to not try these out <laughs> right now, Jameson. But honestly, I mean, when you're tasting this, not only is it some of the best whiskey in the world, yes. you're tasting that rich history that Nearest started on, you know, mm -hmm. over a hundred years ago. So walk us through what, what people can get out in the market if they For walk sure. in their local liquor, liquor store here mm -hmm. in Middle Tennessee. What are some of these that we've got in front of so us? So we've got 1856, 1884, and our single barrel. All three of those you can get out in the market. All right. All 50 states. And then we have some distillery exclusives you only get here. You have to come here to the distillery to get. So we've got Master Blend. We've got our rye. All three of our rye. So we have a straight rye, uncut, unfiltered, and a single barrel rye all delicious. So you have to make your way down here to get them. And it's so exciting to introduce new people to whiskey who might be intimidated by it. And I know that's part of the experience just coming here to the mm -hmm. distillery, learning about it, having tastings, walking out with a bottle that you've got a great story behind. Mm -hmm. We appreciate everything y'all are doing, especially For to sure. kick off Black History Month. Jameson, thank you so much. And yes. guys, we've got so much more coming up here from the nearest green distillery in Shelbyville. Uh, it, it is honestly astonishing. I've never seen something so beautiful. And the mm -hmm. fact that it's got this rich history behind it, you really can't beat it right here in Tennessee. Guys, I'll send it back to you in studio.